Hi everybody, Tim Rawson here at Gear Up, and we are here to show you the tool. It's not e-tool, because that's what everyone else has. We have the tool. It's called Crovel. Half crowbar, half shovel, all business. This is it. Now for those of you that haven't had the luxury of touching one, when you hold it, I call this the Crovel effect. Most guys, that happens. Did you see that? The chest pops off, they get kind of, oh, oh, they get kind of cruel magnum on because this isn't light. It's not meant to be. This is five pounds of American steel. This is one tough tool. Um, but it's just not a, a tool like a shovel, all right? It has a lot of features that you probably would say, I don't get it. What does it all do? So I'm going to just walk you through it. Um, I'll start off with something that's probably uh, not apparent to everybody but is for most guys the most important thing it's the beer opener there it is the applause if I had an applause button right now it'd be going off right now so it just has it I don't know why it's it makes really no sense but it does I don't know all right let's go on um, also the head hardened chromoly what does that mean to you that this is stout it's not going to break it's not going to bend on you this comes with a pretty sharp um, edge on it. I've gotten mine because this is the chromoly um, uh, steel. If you have a grinder, you can get this razor sharp. I actually utilize this as an axe. All right, when you're striking this, you can fall a tree with this thing. It's a tool for camping. It's a for outdoorsmen. This is one tool that kind of covers a lot of bases, so you don't have to carry a lot of stuff. Actually, the products that this takes the place of weighs 45 pounds. This weighs 5 pounds, all right? This takes the place of 14 different tools and it keeps growing. When I say that, because I keep getting videos of guys doing really crazy things with this thing. It is a camp chair. Stick that in the ground, your Z-spike. Pull this over. Put it at the 90 degree. And then plant your palm right on top here. It works. I've actually used it at uh, soccer games before when I didn't remember my chair. So it does work really, really well. Um, definitely put the cover on and don't drink and sit on this when you don't have the cover on. I'm just saying, this would not be a good thing. But this, in this configuration, great pickaxe. Um, does a great job there. Um, I've used this as a, a candle holder. Yeah, you know, I hung this in the tree, put my candle right here. It was a perfect little table for me. Put my cup there. I mean, there's sounds silly, but all these little things, these little nuances that works really well. You've got a saw blade on this side. On the other end, now this head does come off really quickly with an Allen wrench and a, a wrench. Um, you could take that off or with a pair of pliers and you can get it out. Um, then you've got yourself an 18 inch framing hammer, basically, or a pickaxe. And the angle on this is actually um, known as an ADZ hammerhead. The ADZ hammerhead um, is an ancient tool, actually. It was designed all the way back to caveman style, where they had to hollow out canoes. Because of that angle, you're able to chip out the wood. Pretty interesting stuff. So, technically, if you had the know-how and the right lumber, this could make you a canoe. I'm just saying. This, what I just unscrewed, is called a Z-spike. All right. A Z-spike, there's a couple other attachments that we have. This one happened to be on this one. Um, it does a couple of different things. With the hole through it, um, it becomes a plumb, so you know what's straight up and down with your paracord. Um, tied to a piece of paracord, thrown around in a circle, thrown at somebody, could be more than lethal um, or less than lethal depending on where you hit them. Um, but it's also for me, I utilize it, I tie it to paracord, throw it up and over a branch, and then use it to fish my um, string back down if I need to hang something up in the tree. Um, so it works, but its intent is really a breaching tool. Go through glass. I've thrown this, or actually used this to cut through a car before, this entire thing. Um, there was a, an old abandoned car, and uh, we were using it in a motorcycle video. And I asked them, I said, hey, can I do some demos? And they said, sure. I finally actually got to see what I could do. I chopped the entire roof off of a car with this thing. It's that strong and punctured holes, so it's amazing. Now, the inside of this Kroval is hollow. 
which is really cool, all right? Because it's hollow, you're able to put a lot of extra survival tools inside it, all right? You have 18 inches of hollow tubing. It holds, if you're gonna put water in there, a cup and a half of water. If you didn't have a water vessel, this is 100% um, waterproof. It's got O-ring at the top, seal it up, you're good to go. Um, it, for me, I put in there a fire starter. I usually put in, um, you know, like a flint. I put in a flashlight. I put in um, a small little water filter. I put a small little a woodworking knife in there. Um, and also you could put a flare in there as well, all inside your Kroval. Um, it's then wrapped at the bottom here uh, or for the handle with paracord and it's 550 paracord and you've got about 25 feet of this um, and I could probably have an entire show on what you can do with paracord it is like the essential tool out in the wilderness it's a small seven stranded um, rope that does just about everything um, that's also on your your Kroval so if you're looking for one tool to do just about everything defensive digging holes, chopping trees, this is the tool. Thanks so much. Tim Rawson here at Gear Up, signing off.